simultaneous quadratic equations. Love it. All right, let's do this. So what is going on here is actually one of them is a quadratic, but one of them is not. And what we're interested in is one of them's a straight line, y equals x minus 3, um, gradient of 1, intercept of minus 3. It will look a bit like this. And the other one is a quadratic, uh, goes through at minus 7. Perhaps it comes back up like so. And what we are interested in is where they intercept. Um, and crucially, the y values where they intercept are the, are, the, are the same on both curves. So for the blue line, the y value equals the y value of the red line, and, and up here as well. So we're expecting to get two sort of solutions that. Um, that work, that that is the solution to these simultaneous equations. And what we can do, therefore, because the y values are the same when they cross, is we can set them equal to one another. We can simply say that x minus 3 equals 2x squared plus 8x minus 7. And I've created uh, essentially a quadratic equation. Now, what I want to do is I want to get it, all the terms on one side and make it equal to zero. Now I want the 2x squared to remain positive, so I'm going to minus the x and I'm going to add 3. Uh, and then I'm going to switch it around so that the right hand side on the left hand side. So it's going to become 2x squared uh, plus 7x minus 4 equals zero. So that's what's happened after I've minus x to give me 7x and I've added 3. Minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. Okay, we're in a good place. We've got a quadratic to solve. It's uh, not a very nice quadratic because there's a 2 there. There's not much we can do about that. There's a couple of ways we can now solve this quadratic. I'm going to do it kind of, tr tr you know, just trying numbers out method as such. Um, it must be, if this is going to factorise, and it might not factorise, I'm going to, I reckon it will. Um, it's going to have to be that we've got 2x in one of them and x in the other one. So I'm just going to happen to put them that way around. Now we need to think about numbers that multiply to give minus 4. And when I then do my sort of crab claws and multiply these out, I'm going to get 7x. So perhaps I try um, minus, I can kind of see where, okay, let's just go with 2 and 2. One of them would have to be minus. Then over here, I'd get 4x. Yeah, when I do 2x times 2, I'm going to get 4x. And over here, I'm going to get 2x. Now, one of them's going to have to be negative to get my minus 4. There's no way I can combine them to give 7x. So that's up. That's gone. Okay, let's try 4 and 1. Then I'd get 2x times 1 is 2x. And x times 4 is 4x. Again, this is not going to help. Because the issue is I'm getting even numbers here. I want I want odd numbers. So let's try them the other way around. 1 and 4. So this time 2x times 4 is 8x. x times 1 is x. This is looking good because I can make this one negative. And to do that, I'm going to need to make this one negative. And then I've done it. I'll have my minus 4 when I multiply out. And when I, when I my, I'll get my x's as well. So it's going to be 2x minus 1, x plus 4. Okay, this is just my working below. Let's just check it again. I'm going to get my minus 4 and I multiply. I'm going to get 8x. I'm going to get minus x. It's definitely going to work. All right. Now, what does that mean? That means that x is either going to equal a half, because that is what makes this first bracket equal to 0, or it's going to equal minus 4. Brilliant. And then, so that these are, these are going to be my solutions, half and minus 4. But now I need to find the y values. That's the only thing. So I just have to put them back into one of these two equations. And I suggest putting it into this first one because it's the simplest one. So here we've got x minus 3. So when x is a half, it's going to be a half minus 3. It's going to be minus 2.5, minus 2.5, whichever you prefer. Um, and then when I put in minus 4, it's going to be minus 4 minus 3, which is minus 7. So um, it looks like my graph wasn't quite right. We're going to get definitely going to get this negative here, negative x and negative y. But it seems to turn out that they actually cross when 
they would cross um, not when they're both positive but sort of down here so it's going to maybe look a bit on that looks like it's near zero but the, I've made the gradient a bit too small perhaps but I'm just trying to show visually what's going on those are the answers that's how we can solve these quadratic similar change equations job done